My food I need today is a very special kind of honey. Gives you the power of invisibility. Ooh, it's a ghost. Wait a minute, I haven't even eaten it yet. This story doesn't make any sense. My friend Roger from Oregon sent me this incredible jar of honey. Everyone knows how honey is made. Bees fly around collecting nectar and essentially puke it up in their hives in order to save it for future consumption. This sounds gross, I know, but when your vomit is honey, can you really complain? My dad tells a story about how he once ate a whole bag of spearmint jelly candies, and when he later threw it all up, it was the sweetest, most refreshing vomit he'd ever experienced before or since. But let me get back to the topic. So in the Willamette Valley area of Oregon, there are tons of white meadow foam plants, which the pioneers grew for the oil they produced, which can be used for medicine. Bees in the area love the meadow foam flowers, and I mean love them. And the honey they produce after gathering nectar from the flowers is truly unique among all the different kinds of honey. This honey doesn't really taste like honey at all, but something quite unexpected. This honey is so incredibly different from other honeys. Smells like marshmallow. Oops, that poured out a little quicker than I thought it would. Now for the fun part. At first taste, it's a little like a mild root beer. This taste quickly transitions into a creamy caramel taste, and then morphs into the distinctive taste of toasted marshmallows. The notes of flavor in this honey are so complex, so beautifully intertwined, it's great stuff. Incredible. I can imagine like a kind of s'more that's like made out of chocolate and honey. Thanks Roger, you're the best.